What is the best advice that you have for a parent that has an adult sibling that has bipolar disorder type one and is currently in psychosis? Uh, he is alienated from family and close to being homeless. Well, I think that the first point here it is uh, to make yourself present, to make yourself present, to uh, let that person know, let your sibling know that you are that you want to help him, and there's help available always. Uh, dealing with someone with psychosis with an active psychotic stage uh, can actually be tricky because you he may he or she may be kind of aggressive or not as open to receive help so be careful try not to be pushy try to be patient listen first listen and listen and listen you need to listen first and then try to find like a space in which you can actually give help it's like going fishing you have to be patient you have to remain stable and and just be patient and you will see the cue for you to jump in what's the key point to say I can help you make you feel better, you know? Don't get into talking about the delusional the idea. Don't try to say that is not real. If he or she pushes you to say, is this happening? Also don't say it is not happening. You say it is happening to you in your brain. And I want you to know that I feel that you're afraid or that you're feeling happy for that. So they need to be empathized and they need to feel that you understand them. That's the first step, that's the first step. Seek first to understand and to listen, and then take action. I think that's really, really great advice too. And I like that idea, like finding that moment of opportunity and it, it's sort of like trying to find that common ground mm -hmm. of being able to find help. And it might not even be about help, about getting you know, to the doctor, it could be that, uh help getting clothes together or something and just so that you can partner in a way so that there's a, a sense of trust which certainly can not be present when someone is in a psychosis and that that idea of really uh listening and empathizing and um being able to sort of i liked what you said about being the stable being that that rock so that you're able to listen um, and not be flustered by what the person is saying. And ideally, um, if they do sort of say, is this happening or do you see that or whatever saying, I know that that's what you're experiencing. I don't happen to be seeing that or hearing that. I know that that's true for you. Um, what can I do to make you feel safe? What can I do to help you feel better? Um, and there's, you'll, I really see that the, then there's creative ideas that start to percolate that way. So thanks Manuel for that.